This video will help you understand how to add equipment to a database and take a route. A route allows vibration data to be collected and saved to create history of equipment. Make sure the desired database is opened or created. If you need to add a new piece of equipment, refer to the Adding a Database video module. To start, click on New Equipment. To build a file tree for the equipment, select or type in the company's name. Select or type an area of the company that the equipment is used. Select or type in the name of the equipment. Adding company and equipment names will help you organize the equipment in the database window. Select your number of analysis points. This will be two for this demonstration. Then, select a transmission type which identifies how the equipment is powered. This example is direct. The same is motorized. Now, a picture can be added, either from a file on your computer or if the computer has a camera, a picture of the equipment can be taken. We have added an image of the equipment for this example. Enter the typical operating RPM for the equipment. For a complete assessment, leave all of the axis boxes checked. Otherwise, choose the desired measurement axis. The reference axis is used for 3D ODS simulation. For this example, the alarms are set to Class 2, which sets the parameters for the analysis of the equipment. Class 1 would be small items like gyroscopes. Class 3 is larger items like pumps or gearboxes. Setco uses Class 2 for doing analysis on precision spindles. Add an analysis point description or location on the equipment. Plane number one is the front. And plane number two is the rear for this example. There is an option to select the type of bearing that is in the equipment. Bearing information is not required to be entered and does not impede data collection. There is also an option where a barcode can be manually entered if the auto assign number is not desired. To do this, uncheck the auto box and enter a unique identification number. The created barcode can be printed and used by the reader button to load equipment data automatically. Lastly, click OK and the equipment is now in the database. To look at the equipment entered, Click on the corresponding company and area in the database window. By right-clicking on the equipment name, with the checkbox checked, the barcodes can be viewed or printed using Microsoft Word. Part 2. Now we will take a route with TrueSet. Start by removing the accelerometers, the cables, and the DAC box. Then, connect each accelerometer to the black end of the cables. Connect the DAC box to the USB port which was used for calibration. Plug accelerometer cable number 1 into either port 1A or 1B. And press the switch button until the corresponding port light is on. Plug the second accelerometer into the DAC box port 2. This is optional and is only used for the reference channel for 3D simulation. When running a route, the desired equipment's checkbox must be selected from the database tree in the database window. Now click on the Routes button. As an added feature, instead of manually selecting the equipment, the Reader function can be used to scan the barcode attached to the equipment. Make sure the correct equipment appears. If using the reference accelerometer, Select the F button to activate it. The first accelerometer is placed in the horizontal position over the bearings to match the first axis in the route. This data will be taken first. Then, place the reference accelerometer anywhere on the equipment's body. This accelerometer cannot move from this position. Run the equipment at its typical operating RPM specified when entering equipment into the database. The desired record time can be changed. Now, 
click on record to take the first reading from the defined point. The data will then be displayed on the two graphs. The top graph shows amplitude versus time and the bottom graph shows amplitude versus RPM. Stop the equipment and move the accelerometer from horizontal to vertical to match the next axis in the route. Start the equipment up again and press record again. The data is displayed on the two graphs. Once again, stop the equipment, move the accelerometer from vertical to axial to match the third axis in the route. Then restart the equipment and select the record function. The data is shown again on the graphs. Stop the equipment and move the accelerometer to the rear plane starting in the horizontal position to match the fourth axis in the route. Repeat these three readings at the rear plane if specified. There will be horizontal, vertical, and axial measurements for this example. When all of the data at the rear has been taken, this screen appears. Click OK. The data is now available when the equipment is selected in the database tree with the Start menu active. This concludes how to add equipment to a database and take a route. If necessary, you may review the material again or move ahead to the next section.